So you wanna be famous It won't make you secure Even if you got famous Would not make you pure 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 <laughs> Can't even say the word I think the opposite happens. If you get famous, the more likely to kill ya, the more likely to kill a family member. If you get famous, you won't. A lot of people look at the celebrity culture like it's anything more than just a vulture that's here to tear the minions apart. By proving that they ain't got much of a heart or a soul or anything of substance. Since their life revolves around a TikTok dance And people were always monsters It just took the internet to Bring them up to the surface And now the mess won't go back on Maybe this bothers some. It used to bother me more, but now I think it's a blessing. It just stung a little bit. It just stung a little bit. It just stung a little bit. But here's the thing. All the people that have turned on me, I kind of figured they would eventually. Thank you, technology. They were exactly as I expected them to be and Maybe that's sad Maybe I could stare at a photograph And get a wee bit nostalgic Remember when you thought that you meant more to this person? But here's the thing, if they're gonna turn on you, they're gonna turn on you. It really doesn't matter what time they do it. And it really doesn't matter what over... What over? Over what? Over what? They do it. I don't even know how to say what I was about to say. You know what I'm trying to get at. It doesn't matter, like, how people fuck you over, they still fuck you over. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> you know, there are pictures on my fridge from decades ago back when I was a drunk and very sexually irresponsible just irresponsible in general luckily I didn't end up with an STD or pregnant but I still have to live with it yeah I still have to live with it and it's weird that the people in the picture no longer speak to me but I still have this uh, 
memory that they've discarded, but I'll never discard it. I don't care how much they hate my guts now. They want you to hate them. They want you to hate them. They want you to be angry with them. No, I refuse. Squabbles. It's like, it makes sense though, because like, one of the last conversations that I had with this friend of mine who, who is pictured on my fridge, we, there's this picture of us like, trashed. And, um, yeah, she, uh, she's like a socialist or something, and I, I mean, I really don't give a shit. I have a lot of friends on the left. And I actually get along better with them than I do, like, my Republican friends because I really, like, really hate, like, all these people that they still support, you know? So it really doesn't matter to me. Like, if you're an anarchist, you, you know, you're opposed to everything and everyone, you know? But, um... Yeah, one of the last conversations that I had with this, this this friend of mine, this former friend of mine, we're friends for like 20 years, she she said that she like was getting into all these political arguments with, with total strangers online and she felt like a total idiot for it. So she was aware of the fact that it was like a toxic thing for her, but she couldn't stop herself from doing it. So, you know, I kind of saw it coming where she was going to stop talking to me. Um, because it's like, if you can talk to a stranger, like if you can scream at a stranger, essentially, like, and you're just going back and forth with somebody you've never even met, somebody you've never even seen, you really don't know hardly anything about them. And, and y'all can go back and forth for however long you do this. But you can't even have a conversation with a real friend. You can't even have a conversation with a real person that, that's been there for you over the years. I mean, that, that just kind of reveals that, like, you're not really much of a person, you know? Like, that maybe you're always artificial. That's what I'm saying. And, and that's the thing that social media has like revealed that people want the artificial more than they want what's real. And they've proven that they don't want to work for the things that they think they deserve, you know? And this is a problem all the way around. It's not just a problem on the left or the right. It's like, no, everybody is lazy. That's why they can only participate in conversations that are controlled. And that's why, like, they want to whine about censorship. If y'all had any wits about you, you would figure out a way to talk about the stuff you want to talk about without getting booted, booted off of fucking YouTube or Twitter or whatever the fuck. You'd figure out a better way to say it. I mean, these people are the ones that claim to be right about everything. These are the ones that they claim to be on the correct side of history, right? We're on the right side of history. What does that even mean? Nobody even knows what history is. You stupid fuck. I want to be on the right side of the future, damn it. That would make more sense, right? Like I said, history is the future doesn't mean anything. All we have is right here, right now. Can I switch lanes? Here you go. Here you go. Success!